That's a Nash ban a while ago during the last game. Not banned, not picked. They just don't want any counters for their engagers. That's why they want to ban the Ash. They're taking down all the early game AD champions that could be worked with for the side of Innovate. <laughs> Cossack, <laughs> Sefai. That's a Jace pick for me. For the side of uh, J team. They could go for a Jace pick. They could go for a Shen pick. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just get the Shen, help out SZY and Soldier later on when they go in. When he uses the Stand United, everyone from Invade Esports is not going to stand or will be united at all. Yeah, only thing that I like about this, a Shen pick is good when you have a lot of late game champions. Because yes, you're not going to get any kills in the late game, which is okay. Because once you hit the late game and once those Indus coming in from J Team works, this is all going to work well for them. Now, Volibear, I haven't really seen a successful Volibear in the Wild Rift League Asia Season 2. And I probably won't see it now. Yeah, I don't like this pick. I just don't. I mean, yeah. I was excited of it before when it was oh, introduced, oh, but I'm more excited to see the Flash. Please, look at it, DY. Please. No. Oh, no. A Blitzcrank, please? No, a uh, Blitzcrank or Pike? <laughs> goes in for the Nautilus still. I mean, Nautilus has been nerfed a lot during the last patches. He hasn't as hasn't been as tanky compared to an Orn maybe or in a Gragas. That's why it's still hard to make use of the Nautilus. That's why people ought to pick a Galio, a Alistar, because they're a bit more tankier compared to the Nautilus. But if you can make a make place in the early game, it's still gonna be a good pick. Oh man. I mean, yeah, I like the Nautilus, but I would have wanted the fresh Blitzcrank or Pike better. That would have been just so exciting to see them. Or him being the one to look for kills, look for picks here for J Team. But NVR Esports does have solid frontline. They have the Volibear, they have the Gwen, Rags as well. So maybe Bank can be safe in the back line, but waiting for an opportunity to jump in and join Bluffect as he engages. But if we compare the late game scaling of JT, it still is very scary. The Volibear of Azrael won't be able to deal against SDY's Jax later on at all. And yep. team fighting would be catastrophic considering <coughs> that Soldier is just so damn good on the cast here. Yep, so, so good. Now, Invade Esports would need to have a miracle in order for them to make this work. Yes, their champions, their draft is great. But the problem here is, how are they going to win against JT? Will they be able to make this comeback? The dream, right? The dream! And for everyone so that is when... supporting Invade Esports, right? You cannot just stop supporting Invade Esports. Even if this is going to be a big mountain, like Mount Everest of a climb here in this series. To at least bag in a win or a game yeah. against J Team. This is still Invade Esports. They have gone through so many things learned so many lessons and still is growing yeah still gonna be a problem but invade really smart just play it smart against the strong teams and you might be able to find a win this is how you could do it survive the lane let agile have problems when it comes to the laning phase and from what we're seeing right here from the side of j team they're gonna go for the invade too they took the Krugs right there, they can go for the steal. Undeleash is now caught. Dredge oh. line was used. The flash was forced away. And this jungle would be taken again by J Team. J Team going clean and hard as well in the early game. DY visiting mid saying hi to Buffix. It's forcing out the Blood Pools to escape. Oh, man, man. <laughs> J Team actually being the one aggressive in the early game is surprising. Goes in for the rotation. And DY is also helping out on the top side of the map. Because CF17 also still wants to go for the gank here and might be able to go for the steal! No! He actually did! And now this 1v1 is gonna be a 2v1, no, flash. no flashes from Underleash. He's gonna be dead this early in the game. Oh man, he can't even play well! This is so hard for the team! Pam would be able to flash away, but the jungle is no more. Oh man, J Team even showing off some emotes along the way. As they bash the skulls here of Invade Esports. Let's check that replay one more time because that was just well timed as well. CF17 just taunting and then saying thank you along the way here to Unleash. And DY just making sure that his, his hook connects 
Investing the flash, securing the kill. Top side. Oh, uh, another kill. Dead. Two kills already. And now, no jungle for the bully bear. Where is he gonna go? He can't even go anywhere at this point. Yes, that cutter is gonna be taken by Invade. But at what cost? He got two kills already. And J-Team is just having the best of time right now. To, con to think that they, they actually have such a late game composition. But they're the ones driving around Invade. He's <laughs> yeah. is like a slap already to Invade. Oh, man. It's still gonna be catching up slack here. They need to get the resources as much as they can, man. It's just so hard for Invade no. to do it. Look at DUI and X1. They're even rotating to the jungle. They're not letting Undeleash play this game. No, 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 no. Invade is forced. Stand yeah. United though, gonna be used. Gonna go for Pam. They have to stand United again. They're stopping Pam from going for the body slap, and he won't be able to. Another kill on the board for J Team. Do you think it would have been better if the Volibear was the Baron laner instead of the Gwen, in, and have the Gwen instead in the jungle? Yeah, the problem here is, is Gwen's, Gwen's uh, wave player has been nerfed a lot too. That's why it's still not gonna work. They could have picked another jungler. That's the only thing I could do. Yeah. <laughs> Cause either way, and the leash is not getting any of those. Uh, any Look at of the those jungle. Oh man, even back jumped in because he jumped oh. in. He's gonna be dead. Pam is there to save him up. They don't have the explosive cast, but SCY has been dealt a lot of damage on his side, and that explosive cast is gonna end his life. CF17 is gonna be surviving for a bit. Body slam is gonna be there. Typhro Pam is gonna be fighting with Soldier this early on, and the Rift Walk is gonna be them running. But they still secure the kill. At least, well, Invade Sport secured one onto SCY, but. Man, the score actually of TF17 as a Shen is 4 0. 4 0 on the Shen. Shen would the have the. Shen. Even if he builds full bruiser, not gonna go for any tank items, it's gonna be okay. Because at least mm -hmm. he's gonna be carrying the early stages of the game. He would be able to help out everybody, and he wouldn't lose the value that he needed from the tank items. Right now, even the bot lane is struggling. Yes, Azriel is surviving for a bit. So far, I can see Azriel being the best oh player in this team. He's been doing so much for the team here. And we see CS17 just going for damage as well. Divine Sunder has been picked up already. Yeah. I want to see him on more damage items. Just don't yeah. build tank anymore. <laughs> yeah. We could just go for old bruiser items and it's gonna be good. 1v1 bluff X against SZY. Chemo Plague has been used. He's gonna be healed for a bit. SZY, he doesn't need to try this again because he might die. He can. Look at the this. The RH is gonna be started here by Invade Esports. Quite surprising, I think it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a good thing that they started already because at least now this is the time for DY to go in. They have to stand united. Remember, they were a bit too late again Thanks on this for the second leash. objective, and CF17 is gonna take it for free! For free! Wrapped in, wrapped in a gift! Well, Oh, they have oh. one. They have a ribbon too. Oh no! Oh. SCY wasn't killed. It was not an exchange gift. It was just free gifts free. all along. It was a donation at this point. More <laughs> like charity, man. Oh man, I don't know what to say. Invade Esports, they were trying their best. Right there at the top lane. They're trying to get as much, as much as they can with explosive charges from Bank. Yes, they got some resources, they got some gold from the platings, but how much can they do here? Oh man, the, the, the only question I have here for J-Team is how dominating can they get against Invade Esports? Because the team to beat it's, is FPX. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that is the question. They have 12 <laughs> minutes, right? FPX? Mm -hmm. Okay. J-Team at this level, I think they can. I think they might be able to find a way to get this to 12 minutes, but because they're late game champions, it's gonna be hard. Uh huh. I mean, the late game champions are like so fed right now. So, oh, maybe. oh! Four members, Rip Walk is gonna go in and he killed one really early in the game. He has this much damage. This game is done. J Team is just it's killing done. everybody at the front. So you have 17, will be able to kill the ADC. Pam was able to body slam away. Better Storm to end his life. That's four kills on the board.
It's only Azrael that uh, stayed alive because he wasn't there. Thanks to him. And he's still just gonna be trying to farm up. J Team absolutely annihilating everyone. To think that Invaders were tried to set up a death rush. It's their yeah. coffins with their name on it. That oh, would happen no. there. The result is catastrophic and J Team just annihilated this team. Nobody yeah. died from J Team as well. It was a clean 4 0. All I can say is that it was a good try. They were trying something there. But it was a 3v4 and, he, and there was a Shen. That's why that was not the best idea. But honestly, that was the best one they had ever. That was the best try they had. I, I like that we're trying to like soften the We're building. trying to lift them up because the, we need to. We <laughs> need to. <laughs> yeah. We've been try we're, we're trying, man. We're yeah. trying. We're still this game believing. Is no, there's nowhere to go with this game. Soldier is, soldier is fed. Soldier has so much items at so eight many stars minutes. on his name. At eight <laughs> minutes, and now they're gonna Ooh. go to the top side. As the Y would be able to survive. Here comes CF17. Here comes the turnaround, and here comes everybody from the side of JT. That charge on the man. He was knocked up in the air, but that explosive gas was at least okay. enough to save everybody. And Undeleash would be able to run away. Especially after DY Soak did not connect. Good job by Type Profam actually being able to yep. use the cast or ice with some and not be caught by the Dread Shine of DY. The tower is gonna be taken here by J Team nonetheless. And again, the gold lead 10,000, 11,000. I believe the highest that we have seen so far is 20,000 in FPS this game. But oh man, 11.6k no, gold lead. There's a chance that they can reach a 20,000 gold lead here against. Look at how what they're doing. It's like we're watching Invade just get killed every time. And CF17 is not stopping. They're just going to be chasing back here. Uses the buster shot, flashes away. No. He has the dredge line though. He can't rocket jump from here. He's dead. And now there's also on the leash trying to fight against a level 11 CF17. Look at the damage that this guy has been dealing with on the side of Invade. Look at that. He has no he has no Stormbringer. He might be dead here. CF17 has the damage. He's okay for so long. That might be it. CF17 forced to flash away. And that is a good try from them. Good try. I was about to say that this game is starting to be a horror game of a wild well, for invading sports, but <laughs> at least they're still fighting back. They're, they're, There's no jump scares. They're fighting it's their okay. demons. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Well, that pixel uh, brush definitely was a jump scare for them a while ago. <laughs> it was a jump scare for Invade and not a jump scare for, for, for J Team <laughs> because they were the ones who got killed there. Oh man. Oh man. Do pros can... scream when they get surprised? I, I probably so. They're probably. Good they're thing probably... I'm not a pro. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dragon for free for the side of J Team. They have 11k gold lead still. Not much has changed. And I believe that they won't be able to reach a 12 minute aim mark because they have late game champions here. And now the fight is going to happen. It's going to be pushed back, but DY is already here. Stand United is going to be used, spawning two members onto the back line. They're going to be pulling back, but it is still J Team winning the fight. Ezreal is also going to fall down together with them. And that is a tower down at the bottom side of the map. Uh, can they actually commit this into the mid lane? There is gonna be a wave incoming. Yeah. 11 minutes. Maybe you can still beat the time here of FPX. Gwen is not there too. So this is gonna be a tower down to the mid lane. Nexo shield is gonna be up. It's gonna be taking their time. He will flag. It's gonna be used okay. by Bluff X. But they're gonna be running away. So yeah, I think now it's not possible. It's not, it's possible, not possible for them to go for 12 minutes. Okay. Okay. J team almost was close either way. Oh, no. And Vinny's force though is still fighting back. Able to shove them away at least in from oh, the mid scary. lane. SZY has been like on his own for almost Rocket the jump. entirety of this game. Rocket jumping on a fed jacks, that was a scary yeah. one. He could have gotten killed wish. <laughs> after after the rocket jump. It SZY didn't want to play safe. He could have been killed there. <laughs> Don't do that to SDY. You don't do that to a Fed Jax as well. It oh, has man. been just busy having its DY own game on the side lane. DY is three items already. That is DY. What <laughs> else? More are the items other than players? the carries of invade. Oh my. 
Okay, it's a good thing that SZY is not that fed. Okay, that was a safe play. Good good thinking, Bank. Good thinking. Good thinking. Okay. SZY. Okay, now he buys item. Okay. He Rest has maker, maker has been now. picked up already. Ooh. Now they can start this. 12 minutes on the clock. They already are going for the Baron. On the leash is moving up. What? He just ran in and flashed away. <laughs> now they don't that have any all? flashes anymore. He has the Stormbreaker. Yeah, go in. Oh, he steal it. No, he's not gonna steal it on the hands of that member. Yeah, five members still alive. Invade is gonna try their best to survive this. X1 use the Fed Storm to dust, dodge a Hemo Plague, and that J Ooh, that is just gonna kill four members in just a flash. Yep, and J Team will just end this game as well. Nobody can defend this for Invade Esports. It's not as fast as FBX, but still, very, very not swift. Bad. Or not at least 12 at minutes, and oh yeah, they wanted to end that. They were thirsty for any kills that they can get, so that their KDA is gonna get way up there. So that is good. At least now we can definitely say that this game, that was a really big of a one-sided beatdown. The J team just ended them right there and then. It's a swift game.